What even is this game anymore? What the hell? Come here, little raptor. Boom! No more getting set upon the minute I spawn in an ARC game. This is ARC 2021, baby. Hello, right bags. It's Jade. Welcome to ARC Genesis 2. A Let's Play. I know. Who would have funk it? I'm doing a Let's Play. I haven't actually done one of these properly. One that lasted more than three episodes in about two and a half years. But I decided I really want to get to know ARC again. It's been a while. It's been some time. And I thought, you know what, this game helped me so much in my early days of YouTube. And it's time that I actually play it properly instead of racing to the bottom just to get some views. So I'm going to enjoy myself. We're going to actually jump into it. I'm going to learn how to play ARK again with you guys watching me. Hopefully. That's that's the main plan. That's what I'm kind of hoping. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this. Um, this is the new Maywing creature, I'm guessing. I'm uh, no idea how to... Um... All right, all right, all right. I don't, I'm not in your grill, son. Not in your grill. He's alright, he's alright, he's cute. He's got a much bigger tail than I thought. That tail is huge. I guess that's how he helps glide though. Like helps steer as he's flying through. But yeah, oh, it's obviously Arc Gen 2. I mean, this game is just a bit mad nowadays. Look, we're starting off with tech gear. I can do a super jump. I can do super boosting and super hovering. And there's no element. It doesn't look like this stuff ever runs out. But, but, I have to say... It does look like it's not as OP as some people think. Yes, there is some armor on it. There is like 20, 60, 80, 100, 100 armor. I guess that's that's quite a lot. If we take this stuff off, how much do we have then? All right, we have zero. But I'm pretty sure like hide armor isn't isn't that far below. It's like 70 or 80 or something like that, isn't it? So maybe it's not too OP in terms of the armor, but just being able to get out of the way of creatures and stuff. I guess I get what they're doing with this. I get it. After five years, starting off on the beach, naked, you against dinosaurs, aren't you just a bit sick of getting killed within two seconds? Aren't you just a bit sick of not having any abilities to move around and do stuff for early game? I reckon on some game modes like PvP, they'll be crying their eyes out. Oh, this ruins it. This ruins the early game, man. Uh, and that's fair enough. Then go and play the other islands, man. Go and play the other games. Like, this is this is Art 2021, where they're trying to obviously do much more story-led, much more, like, RPG mechanics, much more adventure game style stuff. And that is evidenced by the amount of missions we're going to have to do. Missions are back, but they're not going to be as part of the map now. They'll transport you to a separate place, and that's how you can complete missions. So, it will be a bit weird. It may really affect progression. It may... I think it's going to take some people a lot of getting used to not just doing the usual stuff that they would normally do. But I'm down for this. I'm down to give it a try. I'm, I'm never one to not give things a try. I, I have not a big lover of tech, it has to be said. I think I've made that clear over the years. But, yeah, we could give this a shot. We could give this a shot. I always get some people say, well, it's, it's Art Survival Evolved. You're meant to evolve. Well, you know, I still think there's room to have much more primitive stuff going on in the game rather than it always just be tech reliance uh, but a lot of this stuff is tech boosted it is i think i've seen the canoe though that's pretty exciting so i definitely want to try that out as well so i'm just running about we are obviously in one of the safer areas it does look like the right hand side of the map is more safe than the left hand side i have flew around briefly and i was recording the ending of arc and i just decided to stop uh, and I just thought, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play it properly. Let's play it properly before I spoil it myself. Let's do something I don't normally do. It is a bit of a race to the bottom to show guides and showcases. But I just thought, nah, I don't need to, man. I, I'm gonna just enjoy and chill. I'm gonna see how long we can get on with a Let's Play this. I probably will do some guides, but I want to give you the actual proper lowdown. Like, give you tips, the best tips. Not make five different videos telling you the best way because I found another technique. No shade, no shade. Everyone does that. I still do that on other games and I probably will still do that in future. But, man... There's a lot of videos flying around right now that have barely got any right info and shizzle. So I'm going to just take my time and try and deliver to you some fun while we explore, run around. It's a huge map. Like, it is massive. It is absolutely, I could see this definitely being, like, the biggest one they've ever made. And, yeah, it's pretty interesting to be back playing Ark after so long. The game that made my channel in the beginning... But a game that I haven't really had a lot of love or time for over the last couple of years, it has to be said. And so, yeah, it's going to be interesting. That is where I want to build my base, though. Straight off. I mean, I don't know if there's a lot of resources up there, but I kind of want to build on that bridge. I've just decided we're going to have a base up there straight away. I'm going to do my best not just to make it out of thatch or be boxy. But, you know, 
some things you just can't get rid of. Um, I'm running around. I'm like, all right, I've got to go. See, this is our old school arc is. Right? I'm running around going, right, I need to find a ramp to get up there. Or I could just go and actually put my um, gear back on. Yeah, baby. And boom, chakalaka. I quite like this. I reckon the map needs to be that large because you could probably run across it in like two seconds. But damn. It makes life just a lot bit easier. I think it takes away that early bit of grind and that little bit of a, uh, you know, maybe maybe I can see it getting a bit annoying that you're not going to have the challenge as much in the early game, like you know, learning how to cope with dangerous areas, kind of learning by failing. That's a big key aspect of Art Survival Roll to me, anyway, and that's obviously going to be removed quite a lot because you can just mooch out the way but i'm sure we'll get killed by some creatures still and stuff we'll have to see how it goes um they who knows they may end up nerfing that that we will start with these kits but it kind of makes sense we're on a spaceship yo we're not we're not just proving ourselves to be the ultimate survivor anymore we are the ultimate survivor we've ascended a bunch of times if we have to keep proving ourselves over and over again that just don't make much sense in terms of story um i reckon what they could have done was they could have made it that the gear only gives you a protection boost like it's and you know you can put modules on it that's what i was assuming or that part of the story would be that you lose the tech abilities and you have to go and reconnect with the network and stuff um i don't know what i'm doing like, apparently controllers don't work in the menu for some reason um where's my where's my pickaxe there we go last year i didn't really play much crystal isles at all i think i only spent a couple of hours on it and then before that it was gen 1 that kind of killed arc for me i really just didn't like gen 1 i really hated it and so that's why I just moved on. I just moved on to every other game under the sun, survival genre. And I just feel like now's the time to come back and see if Ark is doing it for me. It may not. I may rage quit in two episodes and go, this game is sucky. But I may fall in love with a game that I've definitely fallen out of love with. Um, let's grab some of that stuff. Let's get some more. I mean, I literally, it's amazing how much you can actually forget. It, it, like, it, it is possible. I've got a load of XP already. Oh man, I have boosted it a little bit. You can see I'm getting 20 for each health and each stamina. But that's just because, you know, I'm playing single player. I'm not tribing up with anyone else. And the weight is 100 per pop. Some people might not like that. They might feel that's a bit too grindy. But, you know, since we're starting out in tech suits, god damn it, I think I can boost some stuff into my weight. Because I hate I hate games that over overwhelm you. My melee damage is still pretty low. My movement speed is still pretty low. Crafting fortitudes. Yeah, that's all pretty much similar stuff. Similar stuff, you know? Similar stuff. Well, I might as well go ahead and use up as much of this as I can. Yeah, the scroll button doesn't work, wild cards, on, on controllers on PC. Sort your lives out. I'm just going to go and get all everything. Apparently now, apparently, because the level is 170, you will be able to earn every item in the game without having to get some extra engram points or create a new character and stuff. That's pretty cool. That's something I think they should have probably added a long time ago. Obviously, it's got a dobe in it already straight from the off, so that's pretty cool as well. Oh, a Maywing Saddle. It's pretty low level Maywing Saddle, like level 19. So we'll definitely have one of them going, just in case. Forge, yeah, absolutely smithy, yeah, metal tools. I don't know why I've got scissors. I'm never going to need it. Oh, the loadout mannequin is level 23. Nice, yeah, we'll have that one. Now, there's no pitch jar that I can see here. I, I thought it'd be like pretty close to the oil jar, but maybe not. Crossbow. Just getting all the usual stuff. Oh, the ammo box is level 29. Okay. I mean, I don't think I'm ever going to need that. But you never know. Maybe I'll set up some turrets to keep dinos away from me. All right, that's it. I'm officially like out of points. Right, I want to get the canoe going. That's what I want to get. Yeah, just a normal basic set of armors, like 30. You get 20 armor with the hide stuff as well. So really, all you're getting is an extra special punch and maybe some extra boost abilities. All right, you know what's going to happen now. I'm going to sod off for about five minutes and then come back magically with all the resources we need to build a base. And I'm absolutely not going to just go and spawn some of that stuff in in GCM mode. I'm actually going to grind, I promise. Lies. 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 Okay, so I've got a little voice over here while I'm just speeding through showing you guys. I weren't cheating for once. No shade again. Other YouTubers do what you got to do. You do you. You do you. Uh, but I hate it when people do actually just lie and say that they haven't grinded. Or they have grinded. And you know they just put GCM mode on. Anyhow, what are you guys thinking so far? You've seen some videos. You're playing it. You're not playing it. Are you still debating whether or not to buy it or not? It's a bit mad how far Ark has gone over the years. I mean, I guess that's what DLC does, though. It is meant to really change a mix up the way a game plays. 
or give you more of the same thing, but better. All right, there's a supply drop. There's a supply drop. Let's go and take this. I'm taking a break from my um, harvesting. Ooh, it's a new one. Looks like a drop pod. What you got for me? What you got? Anklo saddle. Okay. Propellant. Absorbent. Some gems. And some ramshackle armor. Yeah, I'll take all of that. What about weapons? Uh, okay, so pods. Electrical. And, okay, a cryo fridge. But you can use the power jump. Is something underneath me or what? I keep hearing like the sounds of some mad dinosaur nearby. Okay, I've got all the base parts, just something nice and simple. Let's let's put one out. Let's put it like right there. Bit of space everywhere. I love building. I love watching other people's builds. I've always loved it. It's part of something I've always kept in touch with the art community, even if I've not been playing or, or commenting too much on the game. Apart from like news videos, big update videos in the last year. But man, I definitely need to work on my building game. Uh, yeah, I even didn't realise I needed two levels before I put my chest down because they wouldn't actually fit. So excuse me putting my chest outside. There we go. Base. Base is complete. And it's not a box. It's a nearly rectangle. I got some shapes there. I got some shapes. I got some shapes. I don't know what that does, but hey, it's a it's a little porch. We've got a little porch. Right, let's go and get some more wood, and then we've got the crafting benches, and then I'm gonna see about making this canoe. Man, where where are all the dinosaurs? Like there was a few that peeked their head around a second ago, but things are just a bit empty. Like anyone else feeling that? Is it just me? Oh my god, we have a dinosaur. We have a dinosaur. There are dinosaurs on the map, people. I guess they only just kind of stick to their spawn points. Maybe they'll reduce them. I don't know. It's a bit weird. But you know what isn't so weird? Me killing the sheep because I need its uh, stuff. Come here. There we go. Thank you, sir. Oh, it's the platypus. How do we tame these guys? How do I tame you, Maywing? How do I tame you? Do I just get behind you and put berries in your bum hole? No, I'm guessing not. I'm guessing not. I'm guessing it's going to be like the traditional way to tame one of these guys. Uh, who needs an axe? When you've got the power fist. Oh my god! I totally forgot about this. Oh my days. Okay. Right, so apparently we don't need an axe now either. Let's do stone. Man, it's been a long time. It's been a long time since I played Ark. But this is this is just almost as fun. Well, I have I've just discovered the, the ability to punch, which I totally forgot about. Oh, that one's still alive after that punch. Oh again. Not anymore, baby. I've forgotten how annoying the actual uh, tech run is. It is like one of the worst abilities going. Boom! There we go. Right, I should be able to make a bunch of stuff now. Yeah, we need we need a ton of fiber. I need a ton of fiber. Let's go. Let's go and get some fiber. I totally forgot about eating and drinking in the game. Oh, what we got here? What we got here? Oh, it's the little duckies. Hello, mate. Hello. Yes, I can make the canoe. Let's get the canoe going. And a furnace. And a sleeping bag as well, why not? Okay, so with this canoe, what am I doing with my life? How do, how do I equip it? What, where, where do I put it? Right, it goes there. Okay, okay. It's got to be in water, yeah? Okay, we've got the canoe. We've got the canoe. We've got the canoe. And I'm in. I'm in the canoe. Oh man, them arms are pretty chunky, like it gets right in the way. Oh, you can see it at different positions as well, so you can get like two or three people involved. Okay, that's pretty cool. Oh, I just put my canoe down. Oh no. Oh. Get out of here. Get out of here. No, I can still get messed up. Almost messed up. No, he's come back, he's come back for more, he's come back for more. Get out. Who knew that the first death I might actually have would be a piranha, maybe, possibly. 
No, apparently not. Apparently not. Too much, John. Just, just chilling in the water. Well, obviously, as nice as that canoe is, why do you need one when you can just simply do this? I mean, give me, give me, give me an idea of why we need canoes, people. Okay, and apparently, yep, yeah, we don't need oxygen either. That's one benefit of the tech suit. Okay, I, I worked out how to do uh, toggle mode. I was having problems, ain't gonna lie. And here we are. This is our 2021. In a batshit crazy year that all sorts has gone on, who knew that it would lead to tech gear sitting in a canoe that we don't actually need? I mean, it's cool. It's cool. But why, why are you ever going to use the canoe? Like, I'm, I'm sure there's some sort of buff or something it does. We're getting more fish or it keeps stuff nice. But come on now. Come on now. It just seems a bit weird. Very weird. And yes, I do realise there's other maps where you won't have the tech gear, so it's going to be great to use it in other maps, of course, and I guess that's what the DLC does. But for this map particularly, it's just so out of place. It's so weird. Okay, there we go. I've got my little box done and dusted. Yeah, got a bit of height in here now. Got my little room, my bed. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. That's a good start. It's a good start. Now, let's see if I can actually go and tame a Maywing. There we go, got my food back up before it started going a bit worse. Right, now where were they Maywings? They were like over this side. Whoa, at night time, this place um, kicks up a notch. Look at this. This is crazy stuff. Anyway, I've got I've got some Trang Arrows. Let's go and see if we can get ourselves a Maywing or something. Whoa, that's a pretty cool effect. So it literally goes into like hyperspace at night time. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Now, can we boiler it? I'm presuming not, but you never know. Oh, no. Oh my god, where'd it go? Where'd it go? No way! It's off! It is off! God damn! Right, okay, let's try this again. Okay. Okay. got no berries. I've got no berries. I presume it's a, a vegetarian. Our missing crew Yay! Is glider, a Maywing. Right. We've got our Maywing. It's a low level. I know that was a bit quick, but I'm not on an official server, guys. I don't really need to worry about, you know, other players coming up to me anyway. So there's no point in me having it some long last time for me. Oh, I do need the Maywing saddle, though. Which I'm guessing I'm not going to be able to craft for a while. Oh, and I need water. I need water. I need water. And I need food. Oh, I want to ride you, Maywing. I want to ride you. Yeah, you get a drink of water. You get a drink of water, mate. Right, I guess we've got to get some metal from somewhere. I've got to get some metal. Chances of metal being, like, up high around one of these spots. Okay, so we've got Equius. I've literally gone to, like, the other side of the map looking for some, some metal. Oh, got Enforcers. Or them other ones. I can't remember what they're called. Whoa, sound of that waterfall. It's pretty big. Oh my god. The glint. I'm guessing there's going to be no like, metal nodes down here. Okay, I've run into some actual other dinosaurs now. Some dangerous ones, maybe in my quest to get metal and I still can't find any metal like I've been visiting like the usual spots some mountains and stuff we've gone all the way over to that side where's the metal at where's the metal oh here we go here we go here we go damn I was just about to say we're like what's going on here with this game I'm still not getting like loads from these these clearly uh, deposits there we go and we are back. Boom. Okay, got a crafting bench. Got a crafting bench. Okay, let's see what it's like with an actual saddle now. Oh, I need a lot of metal ingots. Oh. 
Okay, I finally got enough to craft my Maywing saddle. Whoop whoop. Okay, let's go and uh, find my Maywing, which I've kind of just left in the water somewhere. Okay, let's go and find my Maywing. My Maywing, my Maywing, which I've kind of just left in the water somewhere. Is it down here? There he is. Hey, boy. You can get on there. Job done. Oh, yeah. Let's go, mate. Let's go. What? What? You're too heavy. There we go. So you can... Can you swim? It's surely got to be like a beaver, right? That they can swim super well. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, they can swim. Whoa, it can go pretty fast in the water. Look at this guy, just mooching about in the water too. So they do go into water just naturally too, okay. That makes sense, because they're like a platypus creature. Right, now... Okay, well, how do we do this then? So I'm, I'm jumping, right. Hold the jump, move, and... Ooh, okay. Okay, I'm going a bit slow there, though. That's it. Wow, okay. Okay, it's going to take a while to get used to. Boom. Whoa, it can just go up from anywhere. Oh my god, it's a fiber beast. It is an absolute fiber beast. No L2, LT abilities. Okay, okay. Or has it? Oh no, it has. It's got like this jump splash thing it does. It's pretty much jump up in the air and then you press the left stick in. Might be because I'm too, weight, too heavy. No, he's alright. Maybe he's just actually out of stamina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You zip around. You proper zip around. Oh, okay, so you can go a bit slow if you press the LT button. Sort of glide into where you want to go. That's cool. Got beavers, got the whole lot. Just skid about. Just keep skidding around. It's not even using my stem. Yeah, you, you dropped the... Oh, he dropped an egg out already. Woo! There's a screenshot. Yeah, that one's good. That one's good. Just, just chill it. I'm just chilling in midair. Can it climb walls and stuff? Oh, no, but it can kind, kind of hit the wall. Oh, these guys ain't fighters, though. Three hits to kill a level certain stupid Pegamastics. Okay, so when Stamina's dead, that's it. You can't glide. You can jump higher, but you ain't going to be gliding anywhere. Wee! Reminds me a little bit of a griffin back in the day. Now, what happens if you land like this? Well, I can get rid of rocks and stuff. Okay, pretty interesting. Pretty interesting stuff. I like it, I like it. And there we go, that is the first episode done on my Let's Play. I have to say, it's a bit of a mixed bag. I can see some good things. The map does look pretty, if and maybe a little bit boring so far. I mean, the views are nice, they're lovely, but these biomes are quite large. But, you know, I'm going to explore. I'm sure it's got a lot more to offer. And, uh, yeah, it's been cool playing around with the Maywing. I guess we'll check out missions next. I found some harmless-looking sims in the Genesis file base. So until next time, rat bags, I'll catch you later. Don't forget to like, make sure you subscribe for the best in survival games, news, guides, and opinion.